Here at home, the big news from Lansing, the current COVID-19 pause will continue. The restrictions will be in place for 12 additional days. That makes it until December 20th, which means a ban on indoor dining, in-person classes and organized sports. The state is reporting more than 9,300 new cases of the virus in the past two days. That averages out to 4,600 cases per day. The last two days also saw 93 deaths. Local 4's Nick Monticelli has more on the decision to extend restrictions. Good afternoon. Really no surprise in the change or the extension of these restrictions, though what is surprising is something the state doctor or the state Department of Health director said yesterday that the 12 day extension probably is not going to be enough. This may be the most difficult time in our whole struggle with COVID-19 since March, especially with the holidays approaching. The extension of the pause and COVID restrictions really came as no surprise yesterday. The new end date just six days before Christmas. The rationale? The impact of gatherings and travel over the Thanksgiving holiday still haven't hit and it's too early to reopen. The state is pointing to new research supporting the additional 12 day pause. A study from Stanford tracked the location data of 98 million people showing close contact without masks in restaurants was four times riskier than going to a coffee shop or a gym. State doctors are also watching three metrics needed to reopen hospitalizations, case numbers which drive hospitalizations, and the percent of positive cases which can show potential community spread. I worked a shift in the critical care area of the ER this past weekend. I can tell you that this virus is real. People are still coming into ERs, even weeks after they have been diagnosed. The director of the State Department of Health and Human Services added he is not optimistic restrictions will be lifted after this next 12 day pause. If progress continues, we will eagerly reopen venues beyond those I've described. We're not ready to do that now, and it's unlikely we'll be ready to do so in 12 days, but we will do so as soon as we can. Of course, the other side of this story is, of course, the businesses, the small businesses, restaurants that are all decimated by these restrictions. In fact, the association representing lodging and restaurants blames the governor, saying 45 other states can do this safely while staying open. Why can't Michigan? I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4.